Oh, Twin Doodle here for the VM Workshops. If you're planning to be on the VM Workshop this year at Binghamton University, June 16th to 18th, you need to watch this video to get a sense of the layout of the workshop and the Binghamton area. If you're not planning on being at the workshop, you should change your plans. Binghamton University is located in central New York State, just over the border from Pennsylvania. The Binghamton area is sometimes known as the Southern Tier, based on its location to the border of Pennsylvania. You'll also hear reference to the Triple Cities, which means Binghamton, Johnson City, and Endicott, though I wouldn't classify them as cities. Binghamton is about a three-hour drive to Philadelphia or parts of New York City, though a lot depends on your traffic. Flying in and out of Binghamton is a bit of a challenge. While Binghamton does have an airport, there's currently only one carrier, Delta, that flies in and out of there. And their flights are only to Detroit, which is great if that's where you live. A couple other airports I'd recommend you check out are Syracuse to the north and Scranton to the south, uh, airport code AVP for Avoca, Pennsylvania. Both airports have a number of carriers, uh, and also very easy to get in and out of. Uh, both Scranton and Syracuse are about a 90 minute drive to the Binghamton area. Two smaller local airports are Elmira and Ithaca with a couple carriers uh, and less than an hour drive uh, to the Binghamton area. There's also Albany, maybe two hours and, and change uh, to the Northeast. Uh, some unique carriers that go in and out of there. And then a, a large hub that some of you may wanna consider is Newark. Um, between two and a half, three hours drive, depending on traffic, all your major carriers are there. Now, driving to Binghamton is also an option for many of you as Interstates 86, uh, 88, and 81 all go through Binghamton. Uh, there's a lot more information on the VM website, uh, workshop website, so check that out for more details. Binghamton University is technically not in Binghamton, but in the town of Vestal. Now, there's a few key things to understanding navigating this area. Uh, in general, the Susquehanna River is going to run from east to west through this region, though it does weave around at, at different spots. Parallel to that is Route uh, Interstate 86 uh, or Route 17. So Route 17 was the original road. It's being upgraded to an interstate. And so at places you'll see it referenced as 17 or 86. So watch out for that. Now, that's not to be confused with 17C, which is a more local street that runs again uh, on the north side of the river through the various towns, right? So we have Endicott, Johnson City, and Binghamton. And so 17C is sometimes known as George F. Highway or Main Street for that. On the south side of the river, the main road is going to be 434 or the Vestal Parkway, right? And that's the street on which Binghamton University is located as well as, as where the workshop uh, event's going to be. Now, connecting all these things are a couple main roads. There's Route 26 to the west here, which connects Endicott over into Vestal and, and 434. There's Route 201, uh, which is going to connect you from Interstate 86 down into 434 Vestal Parkway. And then for any of you staying downtown Binghamton at the Doubletree, you're going to take the State Street uh, Bridge across to the beginning of 434 uh, here to the east. And so it's pretty easy if you remember those kind of things. There is a parking permit required for Binghamton University of $10 per day that you'll register for online. Again, the VM Workshop website can help you with information on this. The permit is only required Monday morning through Friday afternoon, so you, you won't need it for the Saturday of the workshop. Uh, the Marriott Residence Inn is an easy walk to the workshop location. I'll show you later where the path is located. And the Doubletree in Binghamton will have a shuttle available. Now, you'll need to recreate an account on the parking service portal first in order to get your permit. Uh, just one hit, uh, there are options to list your home, work, or cell phone number. And while they aren't listed as required, you do need to enter at least one of them. For those with rental cars, you can create an account ahead of time and then create the permit once you have the license information. The permits are virtual, so they will work off your license, make, and model. And so we'll want to click the Get Permit here uh, to create that. Once you're in the portal in the Get Permit section, 
you'll want to select the $10 a day option as you aren't affiliated with Binghamton University. You're a visitor or, or a guest. Unless you procrastinated, you'll need to ensure that you're on the right month when you set up the permit. And remember, when you select your days, you don't need Saturday. Now, I didn't validate the code that it deals with that, so you may just be giving a donation if you do pick Saturday. You'll go through various menus because you don't have a vehicle on record and you'll have to identify that. You'll need the normal information, plate, state, year, make, model, color, and style. Note business casual is not an available style. Once you get all that information in, check it over and then click next. Double check your information again and click pay now. Now, in my example here, I have $30 because I'm actually going in Wednesday as well to help set up. You don't necessarily need to do that. After filling in all that, doing your payment, you should end up with something like this that has your account permit there. And again, you can always check it in, in the portal there uh, for that. There's nothing to print. It'll all be virtual, high-tech stuff. I mentioned some hotels earlier, and there's a lot more detail on the VM Workshop website. I'll mention a few key ones here. First off, the Residence Inn by Marriott is the closest walking distance and has free parking. Please use the link on the VM Workshop page to book there if you want the workshop discount. The Doubletree is located in downtown Binghamton. Uh, it has a discount code on our website for them as well. And if you don't like Doubletree cookies, get them anyway because Glenn and I love cookies. The Holiday Inn Express is another hotel offering us a discount. Also book through the workshop website for that one. A few others I'll mention on Route 434 or the Vestal Parkway are the Marriott Courtyard and the Hampton Inn, both less than two miles from the workshop. The last one is Traditions, uh, which I listed for those that like history. This is the former IBM Homestead building that was purchased a number of years ago and renovated, but kept many of the original features and has a beautiful view in June. So if you want to sleep in the building where I learned Rex, this is a good option. It is a bit further away, but still under five miles. You'll just take Route 201 uh, to cross over the river. Some of you have been around long enough that you might call Binghamton University a different name. It originated in 1946 as the Triple Cities College when leaders of Endicott Johnson Shoes and IBM wanted to ensure education opportunities for veterans returning from World War II later named Harper College, and in 1954 they broke ground at the current location. In 1965 it became the State University of New York at Binghamton, SUNY B for those that love acronyms, as part of the SUNY school system. Today it is known as Binghamton University and is a Division I school and well known for research including a 2019 Nobel Prize in Chemistry recipient uh, Stanley Whittingham. To keep you on your toes, this map is actually oriented so that south is to the top of the page. And it shows the Binghamton University main campus. Now, there are a number of other areas and campuses uh, throughout the region. Uh, the section that the VM workshop will be is actually in the Innovative Technologies uh, Complex. Uh, both are off of 434, so the main entrance uh, being here, and then a little bit further to the east is Murray Hill Road, which you'll want to take to get to the ITC. The Innovative Technologies Complex, shown here in more detail, again with the mapping oriented south to the top of the page, is a complex of buildings there. The VM Workshop is going to be using three of those. So as you come in off of 434 the Vestal Parkway, you're going to want to go south on Murray Hill Road enter into the complex, and then we advise going back and parking in Lots J. Right? The walkway to the residence in, you'll find about uh, this location here. Why don't we just get on the road and take a look? We've just exited from Interstate 86 on the 201 South, heading towards Binghamton University. There'll be signs off the interstate. Now, as we go along here, there's going to be a few other exits for Johnson City and some local roads. We're just going to zip through those. And after a little bit, you're going to come up to the Susquehanna River. Uh, we'll bridge over that. Uh, trust me, the river's out there, even though you can't see it. It's where there's no trees. Now, as you approach the, the end of this, or, or sometime after you get over the Susquehanna, would be a good time to work your way into the left-hand lane. 
Route 201 that we're on actually ends uh, when it intersects with 434. And so as you see, there's going to be an exit for 434 east to Binghamton, and then 434 uh, west goes into Vestal. You see Binghamton University Event Center and the stadium there as we come off the exit ramp. Now, as we come off this exit ramp, you're going to be in the right-hand lane. This is the lane that goes directly into the main campus. So we don't want to take that entrance, right? So we're going to move over one lane to the left. And so the Binghamton campus is to our right-hand side there. And we're coming up at, at this light here will be the entrance for the main campus, which is not the one we want. Now, I warn you now, it's construction season here in New York. Probably won't be done by the time the workshop gets here. We're going to move into the right-hand lane. Uh, up at this light here is the Murray Hill intersection. And we're going to turn right there, uh, heading south. And you can see part of the ITC uh, to the corner here. And so the campus, main campus again is to your right, ITC is to your left. Now, let me mention that in New York State, pedestrians have the right of way. Um, some students may want to take advantage of that. Uh, but over here in the sciences areas, they know that uh, the mass of a car and the laws of physics uh, imply that good judgment should be done when crossing roads. So we're going to turn into the entrance here now to the ITC. Uh, you'll see a number of buildings. The immediate left, a little bit off camera, is the Smart Energy Building. Straight ahead is the Center of Excellency Building. Uh, we will use uh, some rooms in that. Uh, now straight ahead there you see the Biotechnology Building. And we're just going to keep following this driveway all the way back, uh, following this bicycle but not hitting it, uh, to Parking Lots J. So those are the, the two big lots uh, up here at the... the forward and you see a little bit of the residence in over there across the parking lot uh, and the walkways in that direction. So we're going to park here and then talk a little bit more about the buildings. Apologies but I've flipped the map again to you now where north uh, is to the top of the page here so 434 uh, that we turned off of onto Murray Hill Road and now you're looking at the innovative uh, technologies complex. So the three buildings that the workshop is going to be using is the Center of Excellence right where our symposium hall will be used for the opening session and some of the other sessions. There's a multi-purpose room up on the second floor where we'll have sessions in, in that as well. Then over in the biotechnology building, uh, the lab room will be uh, BI2221. And then the committee room uh, that we use for some other special things is also in that building. Both of those are on the second floor. Over in the engineering and science building, uh, we'll have a room, uh, actually two rooms, up on the second floor there uh, that are used uh, ES 2008 East and West. Uh, the rotunda area is where we'll have our meals uh, and also registration will, will be there. And then in this hallway here we'll have a number of sponsor tables set up uh, so you can check out and talk to them as well. So we've left the parking lot J. We're heading towards the Engineering and Science building, but we're going to take a left here and go down a long Engineering and Science, kind of towards biotechnology. So kind of in the corner here, uh, you'll see this entrance way. We're going to go in through here. Uh, just on the other side of it, there's going to be a little snack kiosk uh, that, that will be open during uh, parts of our event. And then here you see that hallway straight ahead will be where sponsors are, the rotunda, and the registration is going to be right here by the stairs. While we're walking around, let me show you how to get from the residence in over to the workshop. So you're going to go by the pool area here, and then also by the basketball, tennis court, activity center. And then you're going to see this little opening in the gate here. Just walk up this ramp. You're now in parking lot J. Keep heading towards that corner. That's the entrance we went in. Bingo, bango. We have a number of special events at this year's workshop. Uh, for those that are involved in VSE and who arrive in time for dinner on Wednesday and would like to attend the VSE dinner, please email or contact Gonzalo to get on the list. Uh, the time and place to be determined. And then Thursday evening, we'll have our traditional banquet dinner in the Rotunda. Uh, that's not to be confused with an event on Friday to celebrate the golden anniversary of the VM product. Several developers from the IBM VM team based in Endicott will be there, as well as several other retired VMers and, and guests. 
And then Saturday morning, we're going to do something new. Uh, we've invited a few of the local high schools to join us for a couple sessions and let them know about the mainframe and, and the industry. The VMMM, that is the VM Mobile Museum, will be on site for your viewing pleasure. And if you have memorabilia that you'd like to share or show off, leave a comment below or contact one of the committee members and, and we'll make some room. As in the past, we'll use the SCED mobile app for the agenda. Download it for your platform and look for the little astronaut icon to ensure that you have the right application. And check out the workshop webpage to get more information. Or if you don't have a smartphone or just like paper, you can get the grid from the website. Uh, we have a ton of great content this year, both a look at the history to learn from it, as well as newer technology such as OpenShift. There are also two labs being held. Both are three-part sessions, so if you're interested in those, plan accordingly. You also get a chance to hear from many of our sponsors. Now, there's sometimes jokes about the weather in my area, uh, but I think June's going to be pretty good. Uh, but just in case, bring an umbrella. We do get some rain. Uh, however, we're not quite in the hot and muggy uh, middle of the summer yet, so it should be pleasant. The Binghamton campus is a non-smoking campus that includes both indoors and outdoors, so please plan accordingly if, if you're a smoker. For those that aren't jumping in cars right after the event and want to take in some history, the Endicott History and Heritage Center has extended hours to 4 p.m. on Saturday. Uh, it has a great collection of early IBM uh, Endicott displays as well as other things from the area and just early IBM things in general. Uh, did you know we made a cheese cutter? Yes, this is true. It's well worth an hour to check it out, and I'm sure many of you will have stories that come up as you see different things there. Uh, the History and Heritage Center is located in Endicott, and it's about a 15-minute drive from the campus. So as Glenn said, plan to be at the workshop this year. It's going to be a special event. Uh, register, make your travel arrangements. If you're going to be parking on campus, register for a parking permit. Now, the agenda is still being updated, uh, but look at the, the the SCED app, at least download that. We'll have the final agenda up probably the, the week before the event. Also, if you're a VSE person and you're going to be there by Wednesday evening, contact Gonzalo about signing up for that. So I'm really looking forward to all of you being there. Travel safe, everyone. We'll see you soon.